So I had a completely different video ready to go for you guys today, but news just came up and I felt a need to jump all over this instead since it's an issue that we've covered in the past. Now, before we tear into this very, very juicy news, I need to ask you guys for one thing, and that is to please subscribe to this channel so that I can get a very big announcement out to you. If you're on any kind of social media, you're well aware there is a concerted campaign to get rid of voices that oppose mass immigration and this channel is no different so i will be taking some safety precautions i will be coming out with this announcement sometime this week but subscribing to this channel is your best chance to get the notice once that announcement comes out all right so now let's dig in what we're going to do is we are going to start with a video shot by the migrant protesters in pi Hello everybody, we today wanted to inform you about the eviction notice that we have got from the Legislative Assembly. So, we are asked to be evicted on Friday, this coming Friday. And the next step would be they will be involving the police in this matter. This would have never happened if we had more support from our brothers and sisters. So, we are seeking for more support and if they are going to evict us, we need more support. Otherwise, they will be evicting us very easily. And also, there is going to be a counter-protest from the PPC party, People's Party of Charlottetown. So we need your support in that as well, as uh, there are many less people who are coming in and supporting us. And if there are less people, all over 30 days of protest that we have done before, all, um, all of our uh, hard work is going to be in vain. If, if you guys don't support us or come tomorrow, it is going to be a counter protest from 12 to 3. So it's a really a humble request for all of us, all of us to join together and uh, be a part of the protest so that we can show our uh, strength and show our power so that they cannot evict us. Don't you just love how they can't even get the PPC's acronym right? The People's Party of Charlottetown? Anyways, this is it, folks. PI has stood its ground and the so-called international students who tried to scam their way in have been shut down. The first gripe they have is that they need more support. I guess irony is not their strong suit. They tried to game the system and gain citizenship through fraudulent means and in doing so, they drove up PI's housing costs, they drove up unemployment, and then they actually wonder why no one wants to throw them a bone. So they're giving it one last shot by staging what they call a blackout. And what that essentially means is that more than 300 of these uh, protesters will be taking a day off from their jobs to continue reinforcing their demands. I saw one of them state somewhere that what they hope to accomplish with this is to make drive through lineups unbearably long to wait through. It's just like, have you been to a drive through these days? It's protest or no protest. That's just the way they are. You're threatening people with what they're already suffering through. So I don't think that's going to work. These protesters have demonstrated nothing but selfishness since this entire debacle began. They have nothing but contempt for the locals. They clearly don't respect the rule of law. When anybody voices their opposition, they label them as racists, try to get them shut down on social media, and otherwise silence. There was even one instance where the organizer of the PI protest tried to get the local police to arrest Harrison Faulkner of the True North Media for reporting on their activities. So stay tuned to this channel as the final protest is taking place today as I record this video. And then after that, the police will be evicting them from their campground. They say they're planning an additional hunger strike on top of this, but after they're evicted, I just don't see how that hunger strike could have any kind of an impact whatsoever, given that no one will be around to see it. I'll also be following up on the counter protest that will be meeting them them today. So once again, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this channel so you can receive that big announcement that's coming. And I thank you very much for watching.